2020 is certainly the year of major pandemics and being on the internet more since the coronavirus happened to hit the whole world as of late. With murder hornets, a few earthquakes following after, and let's not forget about the disinformation that's taking place about this whole situation, including a good number of people not taking this pandemic into consideration since they believe in these so-called conspiracy theories that aren't always true. But you know what's worse than being left without a job in a matter of weeks to the shortages in supplies coming from China? Well, we're gonna find out after this short intro while having random videos that I recorded a while back as a background. This is Landrider 7, aka LR7, Land here, talking about a few things and updates that nobody cares about for whoever is clicking on this video and bother to hear what I have to say might be my audience. Ever since a lot of my friends left town and one of them won't even speak to me anymore, the only interactions I get from people are from websites like Omega, Chat Roulette, Chat random and so on and so forth and some of the servers that I'm in from discord Facebook on the other hand doesn't really count but more on that later with all this free time that I have acquired after I got laid off from my job back in March I took the time to work on a couple of things and I've been able to do my live streams full-time despite my inconsistent timing on when I go live although I successfully reached affiliate status exactly four years after I opened my twitch account sitting at around 200 plus followers and a subscriber just for talking to strangers online while showing a desktop of me playing a game working on one of my projects for a good portion of those times. Unless I have a consistent viewer base, I'll have to do something else or I end up getting a full-time job just to get by if any are available during these times. Due to the nature of some of these chat websites, I genuinely have to watch out on who I come across and make sure I block anything inappropriate in order to prevent myself from getting banned just because of their misbehavior in which I've been holding up so far. There happen to be other pandemics. Surely one of the biggest ones are the coronavirus. However, there is also the rise of simps making an attempt to pursue women over the internet that are unlikely to get as a lot of these streamers are more interested in getting their validation as well as their wallets even going as far as making an OnlyFans in order to sell lewd photos of themselves to make a quick buck even the platform I'm dreaming on they favor these women more than anyone else it's no surprise that these women will end up ostracizing them own followers but that's just how it is as no one really like simps anyways just cuz they're not giving money to them these women aren't any better either there's a lot of disinformation about COVID-19 being spread across the internet by a lot of media outlets as well as anti-vaxxers like those Karens out there that trips out whenever their pride gets challenged and will do anything 
anything to cancel them out, going as far as getting them fired from their jobs, or even calling the police on them for false accusations, in which the majority of time backfires. It's already bad enough that we have a lot of issues going on in the world ever since the pandemic was declared, and a lot of people have no clue on how to deal with these issues. Some go as far as not believing it exists, making them a much bigger threat to those with a compromised immune system. I certainly blame the Chinese Communist Party, also known as the CCP, the same government that created the social credit system that violates human rights, and the same government that built concentration camp for the Muslim population, allowing this to happen, and their mishandling of the situation, even to silence anyone with an opposing opinion. There's even conspiracy theories that this virus was manufactured in a laboratory near Wuhan, China, in which that is officially yet to be confirmed at the time of this video. And it can only get worse from here. There are corporations out there that are catering towards the Chinese propaganda in order to tap into the market and that it gets approved by the CCP. And companies like Google had made attempts to cater to whatever the Chinese government wants them to comply with, like censoring out certain phrases as well as their own wrongdoings being conducted on Chinese citizens. There's a lot to cover about this topic, but I'll save it for another time. From the looks of this, global lockdown and self-quarantine may last a lot longer than what is being said. In that case, you're better off in taking your money out of the banks and invest in food supplies, including enough water and power banks, as well as every possible information you can download off the internet while you still have the chance for offline use, as there is a possibility that there could be power outages that could last for very long periods of times. Cause from the looks of it, this genuinely feels like we're in the end times according to what conspiracy theories and religious scriptures has mentioned before. I'll touch more on this later in a live stream if possible. Also, there are other projects I'm working on, like the PCP album is being finalized and will be released as soon as I can get it out there with the last tracks being made. Time of this video, I have other projects in the works that has to do with my website and a couple of innovations after the release of the PCP album. So if I haven't been able to release videos for so long, that is what's taken me a while, as well as other things that might happen in my life that would get in the way, but we'll have to wait and see. In the meantime, while you still have electricity and access to the internet, visit my website at www.landrider7.com to see what I have going and hopefully I'll be able to make better videos than this later on. Till then, this is LR7 and I'm logging out.